In this one week build guide, I'm gonna break down the best archetypes to multi-class with attributes, skills, feats, mythic path, and equipment you should take for Wendwick to make her melee build as lethal as possible. With this companion, we'll be multi-classing with the archaeologist bard and dragon disciple to significantly boost our strength. If you're looking for an effective DPS build that deals massive melee damage using a reach weapon, then this Wendwick build guide is for you. Wendwick's build is mostly focused on improving damage to be able to eliminate enemies quickly. On the other hand, her attacks are penalized due to the power attack feat in exchange for more damage. However, it's still decent as she's able to take advantage of a lot of other feats regardless of multi-classing to compensate for this. Wendwick also has commendable armor class that can further be enhanced depending on the equipment she wears. At level 5, you'll be multi-classing with the Archaeologist Bard first. The idea is to then multi-class with the Dragon Disciple Prestige class in order to gain significant boost to your strength. As a result, you're able to raise the chances of successfully hitting enemies with melee attacks while dealing much more damage. The greater the damage, the faster it is for Windwick to kill and switch on to the next enemy. You'll need to dip one level into the Bard class and to attain a rank of 5 for the Knowledge Arcana skill only for the purposes of unlocking this Prestige class. With the Bard, you can buff yourself with Archaeologist's Luck one or two times per day, depending on your level, before the start of an encounter. Archaeologist's Luck is a swift action, which means that you can still do a full action in the same turn, such as attacking your target. Provides you with plus one luck bonus on attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, and saving throws. At level 6 to 9, you'll multi-class with the Dragon Disciple, where you'll specifically get these important features. Draconic Bloodline Arcana Red provides you with fire resistance at level 3. Dragon Resistances gains a resistance against fire damage, which is predominant in the game. You also receive a plus one natural armor bonus to armor class, which stacks with the natural armor increase feature. Natural armor increase, gain plus two natural armor bonus to armor class. Ability boost strength, gains a total of plus four strength score. Bonus feat toughness, raises your max HP. Dragon bite, gains a bite attack, which also accounts for your strength modifier. Remember that when you level up as a dragon disciple, the spells you choose won't matter since we'll be focusing on building the melee damage dealt by Wendewig with a reach weapon. We won't be able to cast spells anyway due to our low charisma. Starting at level 4 and every 4 levels, you'll be able to add 1 point to any of your attributes. With Wendwig, you'll only improve 1 attribute and that strength, which contributes to the success of her melee attacks and damage rolls. This is vital since she only has a base strength of 16 when you recruit her. Adding 4 points into this attribute at levels 4, 8, 12, and 16 together with a plus 4 boost from Dragon Disciple, you'll be able to get 24 strength with a modifier of plus 7. You won't be able to utilize the last point since it won't raise any of the modifiers you need. You can further enhance strength and constitution by equipping belts like the Belt of Physical Might. Raising your constitution is important since it increases your max HP while improving your fortitude saving throws to resist poison and disease. Among the six attributes, Wendwig's dexterity is inherently high at 20 with a modifier of plus 5. Given her fighter class, she has proficiency with any armor. In our case, it's best to equip heavy armor to boost our armor class as much as possible. It may seem counterintuitive since her armor type limits your max dexterity. However, given Wendwag's armor training feature, she's able to add at most plus 4 dexterity modifier to her armor class by the time she reaches fighter level 15. Additionally, her speed is not hampered by the heavy armor's weight and her armor check penalty, which reduces the effectiveness of some of her skills, is also decreased. When it comes to Wendwag's skills, you'll invest in two skills, namely athletics and mobility, since you don't get that many points every time you level up, unlike other classes. Both of these allow you to move heavy objects to help NPCs or reveal a hidden paths such as jumping longer distances, traversing difficult terrain with ease, and walk towards enemies to attack them without triggering attacks of opportunity. From levels 3 to 19, you'll be able to choose 16 feats for Wendwag and 1 feat at every level as long as you continue to upgrade her fighter class. Note that 7 of them are bonus feats, which don't stack with regular feats. The first 3 feats are Power Attack, Cleave, and Cleaving Finish. The idea here is that Cleave and Cleaving Finish are excellent feats to get at earlier levels due to the presence of relatively weaker enemies. Specifically, with Cleaving Finish being able to greatly diminish their HP yields a second attack in the hopes of eliminating another one on their own. Just note that as enemies become more challenging, Cleaving Finish won't proc as often. This is the reason why the next feats will be focusing on other capabilities to enhance survivability, as well as single target attacks and damage. The next two feats you'll want to take are Dodge and Improved Initiative or Outflank. By this time, you'll have identified the melee weapon you're comfortable wielding, which will bring us to Weapon Focus and Weapon Specialization. You'll want to take Weapon Focus, followed by Weapon Specialization, Combat Mobility, Greater Weapon Focus, Blind Fight, Heavy Armor Focus, Combat Reflexes, Greater Weapon Specialization, Penetrating Strike, Iron Will, and Improved Critical Glaive. Weapon Focus and Greater Weapon Focus both add plus one to your attack rolls, while Weapon Specialization and Greater Weapon Specialization add plus two damage to your rolls with the chosen weapon type. You can then pick 10 Mythic Abilities and Feats in any order to maximize Wendwig's melee DPS. For Mythic Abilities, you should acquire the following. Unrelenting Assault. 
Ever Ready, Mythic Charge, Leading Strike, and Unstoppable. For Mythic Feats, you're going to select the ones that considerably enhance your attack rolls, damage rolls, critical multiplier, armor class, and HP, particularly the Mythic versions of Weapon Focus, Weapon Specialization, Improved Critical, Dodge, and Toughness. When it comes to Window Egg's weapon, you want to equip a Reach weapon like a Glaive, which deals excellent damage in order to perform melee attacks at a relatively safer distance of 6 feet from the target. This way, you lessen the chances of provoking attacks of opportunities. Additionally, your threatened area is larger, meaning if your enemies are within 6 feet of you, you'll be able to easily hit them. For armor, make sure to wear heavy armor that significantly boosts your armor class, such as the Half Plate of Vigor or Carapace. Even if we're wielding a Reach weapon, we don't want to sacrifice our defenses. Lastly, in order to improve your armor class and saves as well as your attributes, wear the best versions of the Amulet of Natural Armor, Ring of Protection, Cloak of Resistance, and Belt of Physical Might. Final Tips Wendwig's build has additional features that improve your resilience and performance in combat. At Fighter Level 2, you gain access to Bravery, which grants you Will Save bonuses against Fear. Note that this is one of the most common conditions at earlier levels you'll definitely benefit from. On the other hand, you also have Weapon Training in order to augment attacks and damage. For this one, it's best to pick the Weapon Training for Pull Arms since you're going to attack using a Glaive coupled with Armed Bravery and Fighter's Reflexes to enhance Will and Reflex Saves, rather than choosing a secondary weapon group to focus on. If you have a caster in the party, frequently use the Enlarge Person spell on Wendwag to lengthen her reach and make her damage more potent and deadly. She does receive armor class and attack roll penalties, but it's not enough to be concerning, plus her bonuses will compensate for these. Lastly, be careful when taking other cleave feats like Great Cleave and Improved Cleaving Finish since there are many challenging enemies at higher levels. As such, you won't be able to trigger these feats as often as you'd like, so those won't be effective in the long run. Stay tuned for more companion build guides and be sure to check out our Twitch channel or the Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Wiki if you have questions about the game. What did you think of this guide? Which companion would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below.